All right, don't worry. We're gonna. Sh I'm showing you the picture. I'm gonna show you the picture of the viral video of the picture on the Facebook of, it might be a demon, it might be a tree, it might be your mama, we don't know. It's, it's something. But I know a lot of you have probably clicked this link because you wanna see the picture, the viral video of the demon thing that was seen in Arizona. Who am I to stand in your way of a stupid fucking Facebook post? So, I will absolutely 100% show you right now. I'm just sending out my alcohol. If you're just joining us, I'm Darren Jones, this is Darren Jones Live, and hi, how are you? We do the show four nights a week live, right here on YouTube, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. We do news, we do comedy. We also do uh, stupid uh, fucking viral v pictures on Facebook. Who am I to stand in the way of what the people want? We did a poll today. This is what you guys wanted to talk about, so this is what we're gonna talk about. <laughs> Okay, right into it. Uh, and of course, above me, you can see a sponsored video of something on uh, CISO, whatever the fuck that is. Okay, so this guy Richard posts this picture today. And I want to talk about the uh, life of a viral video. I want to talk about what constitutes actual news. And I also want to talk about what could this possibly be. All right, so Richard here in Phoenix, Arizona on January 1 wrote, What the hell are you see in this picture for reals? Question mark, question mark, question mark anybody. So my boy Richard saw something in Arizona. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. It's totally a palm tree, but okay. Uh, he saw something and he's like, I don't know what this is. Instead of getting closer, I'm going to use the shittiest camera I can find. I'm not even the new Blackberry, like the old school Blackberry with the little thing on the side that that's how you checked your email. You went up and down and I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to take a photo of this. And we're gonna find out, what the hell do you see in this picture for real, son? That's a great question, Richard. All right, so, <sighs> people on Facebook are so fucking dumb, aren't they? And I, and again, I don't begrudge anyone. I posted this on my Facebook page, say, do we really wanna talk about this on the show? And y'all went crazy. So who am I to stand in the way of the content that you're interested in? Okay, so, right there, is it an angel? Or is it a palm tree? I mean, it's a fucking tree. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it clearer now. Guys, that's a tree. Am I crazy? I mean, that's a palm tree split. Uh, and the wires probably go through. They probably cut a palm tree to the side. How? Okay, well, did this, did this catch on? And in the chat right now, I know we're live right now. What do you think it is? Help my boy out Richard here. And check out Richard. This dude is like... He's a, he's, he's, his past is Nasty Boy Records. He went to Metro Tech. Uh, <laughs> he's part of a union. Like my boy Richard wants to get to the bottom of this. So I'm like, I'll help you out, Richard. Fine. So what is it? A tree? Is it an angel? I, it's either a tree or your mama. That's what I think it is. So let's see. This is what's so crazy about Facebook. As of an hour ago, this has been shared six point f no, this has been shared sixty five thousand times. Fun again, again, I'm not judging. It's that's the whole point of Facebook. But I have a second part of this story that does make me angry, and I'm going to get to that in a second. Namely, actual supposed real news picking this up as news. Okay, but let's enjoy this story because I like a good viral thing. Look. I'm leading with this stupid shit because I know how it works. Okay, so my boy Richard puts this down. People go crazy for it. 69, 64,000 shares. The comments, 7,000 shares. Okay, so remember yesterday, okay. Remember yesterday we went into our new rules for 2017? This is a really good time to use this one. Don't argue on the internet. Guys, don't argue on the internet. And if you're joining us live, I see you in the chat. What's up? Good to see y'all. How are you? Good to see you. We're having a good time. Uh, we do this live four nights a week. Uh, and if you're uh, joining us uh, later, welcome. And if you found this a viral video, subscribe to my page. It's actually my birthday, so I want you to like this page. It's like the cheapest present you could give me. Don't be an asshole, just do it. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what I would like. Okay, where were we? My boy Richard, right. We're watching this viral uh, thing. Here's what makes me nervous, because I like to think the best of people. I like to think the best of humanity. And then I start reading these Facebook comments. What is wrong with people on Facebook? Seriously. Seriously. Some people take it so seriously and they're actually arguing and fighting about this thing. 
Okay, here, right here. Okay, so here, where is it? Here we go. So this is what makes me nervous. Daniel there says, it's probably fake. Hmm, probably. So you mean it's not an actual demon? It's not an actual angel of death? Oh, probably. And then somebody down here, it's a demon. Well, we are in the last days. Uh, God is coming soon. Start praying and going to church because the Bible says we, says we will see strange things on Facebook from, taken from a shitty camera. And the Bible is God's word. Amen, says Shayla. And then here we go. It's two palm trees, dumbass. By the way, your God isn't real. Like, can't we just enjoy a viral moment? So Cynthia wants to believe that this is God coming on a Facebook post. Who's Cody Windham to say, hey, dumbass, your God's an asshole? Who is, who is he? In the last days, you are to repent your Raymond or God Almighty will rain down meatballs for 40 days. I mean, he's being funny. I get it. But guys, don't argue on the internet. Don't be an asshole. Can we just fucking chill? If Cynthia wants to believe it's an angel, who are we to stand in her way? Although I will say, why is it whenever an angel or God <clears throat> or a demon or whatever comes to visit us in our sleep or however they do it, why do they, why do they, why can't they come like during the Super Bowl when we're all watching and there's good cameras? Or why can't they come like in the daytime? Do you know what I mean? Or why can't they, why can't they come to a guy who's got a new iPhone? Not a, a janky old Blackberry that can't quite take the photo. And why is he so far away? I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's 100% a tree, even though it absolutely 100% is a tree. I'm just saying, why can't the demon of hell come to a guy and present himself or herself in front of somebody with a good cell phone plan and a good data plan that can take a good 4K photo? Like we have uh, drones that catch things. We've got uh, GoPros you can put on your forehead that shoot in 4K. Why, if God is coming or the, arc, the demons of hell are coming up, why are they present like it's just why are they presenting themselves to such a like a guy who who can't deliver the message? Do you know what I mean? I don't get it. I don't get it. Why would you present yourself? So that tells me two things. One, this angel, this hell demon, I'm not, I shouldn't be too scared because if if the devil's too stupid to show up in front of a guy with a real camera, hasn't probably thought it through, so I don't need to worry about anything. Or two, it's a tree. What do you think? Let's get in the chat. And then part two of the story, by the way, if you're just joining us, I'm Darren Jones. This is Darren Jones Live. We do news. We do comedy. We do commentary. We're talking about this viral picture on Facebook. Is it a demon? Is it a tree? It's a tree. Is it uh, yo mama? Is it yo big old fat dick? What is it, guys? What is it? That's the real question tonight on Darren Jones Live. And again, I'm not begrudging any of the 64,000 people that have shared this stupid thing. Not judging, I'm not judging. I'm 100% not judging. Because you could do that. My problem is with the news, and we'll get to this in a second. Why is actual news reporting this? What, this, what are you, what are you doing? What do you, this is, not, why do you think we hate the news? Because you're so desperate for clicks that you're gonna use demon sight. <clears throat> and the way they present it, demon sighting, Goes viral on Facebook. Hey, how about we do some reporting? Tree, not deep, tree, tree, picture of a tree on Facebook. Like it's not that hard. Do some journalism, but no, they want the click. So we'll get into that in a second, but first I wanna say hi to everyone. I haven't even said hi to the gang. I'm Darren Jones, this is Darren Jones Live. What's up everybody? We do the show live four nights a week. If you wanna be part of the action, if you wanna help, uh, build this show. We build it every day on Facebook, facebook.com slash Darren Jones. And if you want some hot, hot, sweet ass uh, nudes, go to my Snapchat because I just basically like I'm focusing mainly on my nuts, but you know, I can, I can shoot other things, whatever you want. It's all good. And I uh, thank you all very much for the birthday uh, wishes and greetings today. Mwah, I do appreciate it. And if you really want to give me a birthday wish or a greeting, uh, like this video and subscribe to my page. Oh, I feel like such a whore. That's okay. All right, let's continue with the show. Uh, Hurst Shane is here, what's up? What bugs me is they post the pic, but don't show uh, going right up to the tree. Yeah, exactly, because it's, it's a tree, guys. It's a goddamn tree, exactly. I've got a new phrase for getting people to believe stuff. 
It's like using a ballistic weapon on an aquatic species in a cylindrical oak container. Joanne, I'm gonna have to read that uh, again a little closer. Uh, Carly is here. Arushana, you're here. What's up? Good to see you. It's an alien. Uh, Warrior the, says the end is near. Shit, Warrior. That sucks. Because I'm having fun doing the show. I don't want it to be over yet. Uh, if you're just joining us, it's what it always is. A hoax. Or maybe a Photoshop. Or maybe a tree. Or maybe it's just a guy who took a stupid photo and said, hey, you know what? I bet you people will believe this is an angel <clears throat> and if I post it. It's a tree, guys. But again, that's not my problem. My problem is right here. The news. They're reporting this like it's an actual story. Demons sighting picture goes viral on Facebook. Guys, like what the... F Where's the journalism? Where is the... We looked into it, and it's a tree. We called the guy who posted the picture, and he told us it's a it's a goof. What? This is this is this can't be the headline. If we're going into our new world order here with the fake news and Trump tweet stuff, and he just tweeting like things that aren't necessarily true all the time, this cannot be the headline. The headline cannot be demon sighting. Hey guys, we sighted a demon. No need to look into for this further. Demon sighting goes viral. Why are you reporting a stupid Facebook picture that has gone viral? This is why we hate you, news. This is why, this is exactly, how are we supposed to take you seriously, Fox News 11, if this is one of your stories? Like, it's just junk. A picture is going viral on Facebook that appears to show a demon. The photo was posted by Richard Christensen. Did you reach out to him? Did you, did you decide to fact check this before you posted it? The image appears to show a large dark figure with wings and spikes on its head. Are you fucking sick? Guys, no, you can't, you can't report that like news. The image appears to show, sp the image appears to come from the bowels of hell. Like well, you can't, if you're going to be a journalist <clears throat> or a news site, you can't put this up. This is wrong guys. And it hurts my, it hurts me to read this. Because people read this and go, oh, I guess they saw a demon in Arizona. And then the next time you just write a, a Trump tweet as a headline, go, oh, I guess that's actually true. Christensen captured the photo. What the hell do you see in this picture for reals? Anybody? And then this one kills me. Many people on Facebook are arguing that it's either a demon or an angel. What do you see? What is going on? The whole world has turned into stupid BuzzFeed lists. I'm not joking. Like, the whole world... We deserve to get hit by an asteroid because we are so fucking stupid now. This is a news story. People are sharing a picture on Facebook and you're selling it like it's actually a demon or an angel. You don't even mention that it's a tree or we followed up or we went to the exact location during the daytime and touched a tree. What is going on, guys? Am I going crazy? Am I going crazy? Do you agree with me? Hit like if you agree with me. Am I going crazy? Should I be... Oh, I just gotta walk this one off, you guys. Like, it just drives me crazy. And again, I have no problem with the fact that it's a viral picture on Facebook. I don't give a shit. It tells me a lot about people on Facebook, how fucking stupid they are. But that's not my problem. The problem is, and if you type in now, demon picture viral, all of these shitty little news sites, Fox LA, Fox Nebraska, Fox New York, blah, 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 CBS local, blah, blah, blah. They are posting this because we they know you'll click it and that's the only way they can earn any money. So the news is so desperate for clicks and advertising revenue that they have to post this stupid shit because they know we'll click on it. And it's, okay. it's not our fault for clicking on it. I would click on it. I did. But you can't pose this in an actual news story. And then also be like, why don't people trust the news? Hey, look at this orange. Is this one of Jesus' testicles? A man on Facebook says it is. What do you think? Is it the left nut or the right nut of Jesus? Like, you can't. You just can't. This can't be. You just can't. And look at all the related stories. Girl 6 orders expensive treats with Alexa. Six puppies stolen from DC Air. OJ, I wonder if people like clicking puppies. Manatees stuck in a storm drain. It's just stupid clickbait shit. Where's the reporting? Like, shame on you for nobody bothering to follow up to let us know that it's actually, guys, it's actually not a demon. 
Am I going crazy here, guys? I feel like I'm losing my mind today a little bit. If you're just joining us for the very first time, I'm Darren Jones. This is Darren Jones Live. And uh, what we do on the show is you send me stories on my Facebook page. And then I go live and rant and rave about them. Facebook.com slash Darren Jones. That's where it all goes down every, each and every day. And well, if you're brand new to the community, if you just found this because you actually want to look at a picture of a demon, welcome. Welcome. Subscribe to my channel. Like my page. Like this video. Just fucking suck it off. Do whatever you have to do. We go four nights a week live. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. And uh, welcome. And uh, the growth on the channel has been excited. This is a very, this is the place to be. Uh, and if you like nude snaps, hit me up. That's what I do. I send nudes pretty much 100% all day. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. Am I losing my mind? Let's go into the uh, live chat here. Let's see who's here. Uh, and hi, guys. Let's bring it in. I like bringing you into the corner. And I have other actual scary news. But uh, if you're just joining us, we're talking... Uh, Darren, it's the tree. Those acting classes from U of T paid off. Carly, referencing my stand-up. God love you, girl. Uh, <clears throat> asking you shall receive. It's a tree. People share stupid shit on Facebook. Remember when the comment section was just memes. But again, it's okay. The problem is the news posting is like it's a, something we actually should know about. The news in the old days was here are five things you need to know. Now I don't know anymore. Is it puppies? Is it a fucking tree? Some guy took a picture of a tree in Arizona. Now that's a story. I just can't, guys. When the camera gets baked. <laughs> it's like your video with the potato. Yes, exactly. It's like my uh, YouTube uh, video with the potato. The right nut of God. Uh, the news title should have been definitely a tree spotted. Daniel, exactly. So uh, if you're watching this live, welcome. If you're uh, watching this uh, uh, after it's been posted, let me know what you think in the comments. Am I going crazy? Has the news gone totally fucked? Here's tonight's hashtag password. Put it in the comments. Fuck you news. Okay, fuck you news for putting this kind of stupid shit in our feeds, all right? Drop the comment right there. Uh, I have some actual scary news too. Uh, of course, this is very scary. The, uh, the demon from hell. Very scary. Uh, and then also scary, the fact that news wants to treat this like an actual thing. Uh, here's something also scary and uh, depressing. Uh, so you know everybody went back to work today, right? Because the holidays are over. Canada's top, this is news from Canada. It's about the same in the US, a little bit higher. Earns 193 times the average worker's salary. Are you fucking kidding me? How You greedy fucks, like you greedy, greedy fucks. How can you be the head of a company and justify earning 193 times the average worker's salary. I mean, calm the fuck. I mean, guys, 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 why are we standing for this? Why are we working for these companies of these CEOs earning 100, and that's okay. Like, oh, good for them for hustling. I get it. You're the top of the company. You should be well compensated. 193 times? How about this? CEO salary sort of new heights. It takes Canada's top CEO half a day to earn what the average worker takes home in a year. This fucker right here, I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm sure he's worked hard to get where he is. By lunch today, he earned what the rest of us schmucks earn all year. By lunch. So he went for more and he had his coffee, he had a couple of meals. And I'm not saying he's not good at his job or he doesn't deserve to be well compensated. But does this seem fair to anybody else? Does this seem fair? Meanwhile, what are we fighting for? Oh, can we please earn $15 an hour? Is that, can we make, raise the minimum wage so like, I don't need three jobs to rent an apartment? Is that okay? Oh, I just don't see how we can make that happen. I don't know. Because then I won't be earning, I'll be only be earning 192 times what you earn. I just don't see how I can, I'd love to help, I'd love to help you. I really would. I'd, I'd love to, look, hey, you know me. I'm the people CEO and I would love to help. I can't, I just, how, how can we possibly, the economy will crumble if we give people $15 an hour. If we don't force them to go on welfare, while they have a full-time job. I mean, just can't. The economy, what, what's that? No, ignore this. Don't worry about this. Don't worry. This is not important. Don't worry about this. Who, me? No, I earn every penny. By lunch today, I earned your entire salary. That's fine. That's very good. Check this out. The average total compensation for Canada's 100 best paid CEOs hit a historic high of 9.5 million in 2015, according to blah, blah, blah. That is 193 times the average worker's salary. 
Does that make anybody else really, really angry? And again, I'm all for working hard and getting well compensated. But at some point, it's just not fucking fair. Am I wrong? By 11.47 a.m. today, the first working day of 2017, CEOs in the top 100 will have earned what the average Canadian earns in a year, about $50,000. $50,000 by noon. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let that sink in for a minute. 100K a day. Just think, okay. 100,000 a year, that's a great salary. No, 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 in, a, in one day. Does he, do they also get, they get sick days off too? Oh yeah, they can take days off. Do they also earn 100K on those days? And again, I'm not saying that these CEOs don't deserve to be well compensated. You're running a company, it's very pr pressure built, whatever. But it cannot come at the expense of literally everybody else. That's what I'm saying. So I don't want to hear any shit about, oh, I can't raise the minimum wage. It's crazy. It's crazy. Can't raise the minimum wage. Don't look at that. Don't need, no need to look at that. Don't need to look, can't earn, you just can't do it, guys. Ah, geez, I'd like to. Now, there is good news, gang, and I'll tell you what, it, I'm, am I fired up today? I'm on cold medication. Can you sense it? And it's my birthday. I'm, I'm 39 now. I'm not taking any more shit. Yes, this is a Nerf ball. Come at me, bro. There is a silver lining to all this. A year ago, the fight for 15 wasn't a headline. God, we couldn't even think about minimum wage 15, that's crazy. Now it's an actual thing. It's a legitimate real thing. It's an actual thing. We're raising our voices, we're getting loud. And getting loud actually works, it really does. Uh, and that's the only tool we have moving forward as a people. Getting loud, calling your congressperson, your senator, your local MP if you live in Canada, your member of provincial parliament, get in their fucking faces, write letters, get on the phone, organize, okay? Maybe spend less time sharing uh, this. I'm not saying you can't share this, but let's get fucking the real guys because this right here is bullshit, okay? This is bullshit if this is something we're told can't happen. You hear what I'm saying? I'm Darren Jones, this is Darren Jones Live, you're watching the show. We do this show four nights a week. <clears throat> News, comedy, commentary, interviews. Uh, I'll have a wank every now and again. You can't see my hands, it's happening. Uh, we do it four nights a week, and subscribe to my channel, like this video, uh, because this is for real, 2017. This is, I would, I want to be earning 193 times with you, I'll never do it, but that's my goal this year. Uh, okay, so. Raising your voice does make a difference. It really actually does. Because look, remember this story? The ethics office, they were, they were just gonna gut it. The Republicans were like, no, we're not gonna, we're just gonna get rid of, oh, that committee that can punish us for having no ethics? We're gonna get rid of it. Well, guess what happened? People lost their shit. Even Trump tweeted about it. He's like, this is bullshit, guys. You can't do this. You know when Trump's on the right side of the ethical debate, then it's really crazy. Do you know what I mean? So people wrote their congressperson, uh, they, they flooded them with phone calls, and they embarrassed them. Guys, this is the only way moving forward shame works. That's it, guys. I mean, that is the only way we're going to make things change. That's it. I'm trying to get this turtle-looking motherfucker in the shot, but maybe it's better I don't. That's fine. Well, just know that behind, behind my face, there's a uh, turtly-looking mother. Here, there we go. I'll do this. Mitch McConnell. Um, yeah, so you embarrass the people in charge enough that they go, oh, we just can't, the, the dumb workers caught on this time. Okay, we'll get them next time. And it changes. So because we all got angry, shared it, and actually did physical, actual work, this went away. So good for all of us for raising our voices. And that tells you something, that these uh, rich elite people are cowards and uh, they're afraid of us because there's more of us than there are them. Uh, they're hoping that we don't notice shit like this. And again, it's a private company. I get it. You can compensate your CEO. Doesn't make it right. And I don't want to hear any shit about this. Okay? If you're coming at me with can't give anyone $15 an hour because it's too much, the company will collapse. I don't even want to hear I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with trying to agree with rich, rich, rich people on how the world should work. It's crazy. Okay? If this guy earns 50K by noon... 
sorry, no, uh, everyone gets $15 an hour. Okay, I know this guy's important. I know he does a lot of great work. I'm sure he's a, you know, well liked. I'm sure he, uh, he probably pays for office supplies out of his own pocket every now and again, but 50K before lunch, bruh, shoot some down to your workers. You don't need to be earning that. Nobody needs to be earning that much. How much does this fucker earn? And I mean, again, I'm sure he's a nice guy. <laughs> okay, ready? He's Michael Pearson, the CEO of Valiant Pharmaceuticals. You know the pharmaceuticals that are really expensive? Oh yeah, those. Uh, he made, how do I even read that number? How do I read that? How do you, I, is that a, I don't even know how you read that number. How, what is that number? That's, is that an actual salary? $182,902,000, one hundred eight. No, I did it wrong. It's too big a number for me. $182,902,189. In a year. How much do you make? How much did you make? Oh, I can't, guys. We just can't. The whole economy will collapse. Hey, what if we shave, like, a mill off this dude? You're cra that's crazy. But it does work. We can't. I've got another story to show you uh, that proves that uh, getting loud and protesting. This is why I love Black Lives Matter, by the way. A lot of people have problems with their way they protest. I love it. I think they're great. Do you know why? Because they get shit done. They get in people's faces. They get their issues known. They get right up in there and they force you to deal with what they're talking about. And if you disagree with that, that's fine. But the squeaky wheel, especially in 2016, 17, gets the grease, okay? And if you want to be heard, you can't be polite anymore. You can't do polite, pro you got to kick down the door and make your voice heard. Obviously, in a lawful, proper way, don't get me wrong, our voice is our only tool at this point. That's all I'm saying. I'm Darren Jones. You're watching Darren Jones Live. I've got one more story to show you. A good news story. And it's my birthday, guys. Like this video if, if you like this thing. If it's the first time joining us, we do the show four nights a week, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. I've done 26 minutes already? This is crazy. Amazing. Uh... Subscribe to this channel. We do this four nights a week live right here, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, right here on YouTube. If you want to get part of the building process, uh, and if you're new, there's a lot of new people to this channel, and I welcome you all. Uh, Facebook.com slash Darren Jones. That's where we post stories. You post stories. You post things that are important to you, and that's what we talk about. That's what we do each and every night. So it's because of you that this show happens, by the way. Uh, it's because of me that my nudes get spread on the internet right here on Snap. 100% nudes always guarantee. Uh, that's very important to me to... Uh, to keep that one up. We have three rules this year on the show. Rule number one, don't be an asshole. Just don't be an asshole. You know what you're doing, don't be an asshole. If you're talking to somebody in, in on the phone and you're angry, don't be an asshole. If there's a car in front of you, let them in. Don't be an, don't, okay? Am I wrong? Rule number two this year, 2017. These are not easy to live by. Don't argue on the internet, it's just not worth it. <clears throat> argue with people in real life, with your voice, go to city hall. Do it that way, much more effective. Don't argue with an egg. That's all I'm saying, a, a faceless egg. And this one right here, guys, let's be smart. Can we just chill? Can we get worked up? I'm not saying that we shouldn't let anything bother us. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, let's get bothered by the right things. Don't get worked up over stupid shit. Get worked up over the real stuff, okay? Can we just fucking chill? This is what I'm saying. A lot of people in the chat, a lot of new people in the chat. This is awesome. Carly's here, Brian is here, Daniel, Lori is here, Sheena. <clears throat> the squeaky wheel sometimes gets replaced, says Sheena. That's true, Sheena. You contrarian you. However, the wheel that is squeaky that doesn't ask for grease gets put in the garage and a blanket gets put over it and it suffocates. Checkmate. Checkmate, Sheena. Uh, snazzy animal. <clears throat> Uh, I'm shocked that Darren hasn't cut the show short tonight so he can have some birthday nookie. I'm having birthday nookie right now. You can't see my hands. Uh, I wouldn't have a problem if they knew they were donating most of that money, but let's be real. Do they? Says LaShawn Gordon. Now, he, and again, here's the thing. We're talking about the CEOs earning, this is a, out of Canada, but it's the same in the US. 193 times what the average worker makes. And I'm not saying they don't deserve it. And if they can negotiate that kind of contract, that's fine. But we got to embarrass these people. So they go, we, it's, this look, makes our company look bad. The fact that we're uh, fighting against this. We're saying $15 an hour is too high. Meanwhile, 
this dude earns, a, how much should I say? $182 million a year. Does that seem right, guys? Does that seem, that not, the, the accounting seems off. Seems to me you could probably pay a lot of lower wage, lo lower rung workers a better living wage if this guy maybe just didn't earn 182 million a year. I don't know, maybe it's me. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, I'm the crazy one. Yeah, it's me. I'm the crazy one. So, raise your voice, be heard. And here's another good news story. I mean, again, it is a good news story. The fact that this story right here was not on our radar a year ago. The idea that you could earn $15 an hour minimum wage is like, it's crazy. Now this is mainstream. It's coming. It is coming. It is happening. Okay? And again, as, <clears throat> as long as this is happening, we should not accept any argument against this. Raise your voice. You get things done. The ethics office is not going to be gutted because everyone lost their minds, which is fabulous. Here we go. My boy Bernie. Look at him. He's pull You know what he's pulling out of his pocket there? Like a packed lunch, like a sandwich in Saran, like a, a bologna sandwich. God love him. Okay. He's the governor. D governor Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo proposes free tuition at New York State Colleges for eligible students. Remember a year ago, this was like, this, this wasn't it, like Bernie said it and people were like, that's crazy, free school. How can we possibly, how can we be so careless with our money? What? Oh, don't worry about that story. How can we give free school away? That's crazy. There's not nearly enough money. What's that? Huh? Oh, what? Oh, don't worry. No, no that's not what we're talking about. Okay, so New York State, uh, they're proposing free tuition for colleges. So this is going to happen. They're going to fight for it. It's now a thing. It's a real thing. And again, I don't begrudge people who've done very well, and I don't begrudge people who uh, have cut a good deal for themselves. But the inequality is ridiculous. And uh, the protest is all we have. And I just want to say something. For all the, the hand-wringing over Trump supporters versus Hillary supporters, there is common ground. And it's stuff like this. I guarantee you Trump supporters will be like, what the fuck? You're all about draining the swamp. You can't be cutting the ethics office. No. And, uh, and the people on the Democrat side were going like, this is crazy. There is common ground. At the end of the day, I believe that. We're all good people. I really do believe that. I mean, you don't... And you know why I believe it? Because I try not to do this too much. I really do believe it. There is common ground, and we all agree on this sort of stuff. The only people that don't agree with this are the people being investigated by the ethics office. So good for us for raising our voice together. Let's be smart. Let's be smart. And let's not be so quick to dismiss our <clears throat> supposed political opponents, because chances are you share more than a few values. You really do. You really do. Which leads to... Can we just fucking chill? Let's be smart. Let's chill. I mean, it all comes together, guys. These are the three rules. These are the, and it's not easy. All right, so, my man Bernie, they're going across the country. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. And it's so, so important. So that's good. So it is good news. So we're ending on a good news story. Uh, if you're just joining us, I'm Darren Jones. This is Darren Jones Live. Uh, we will do a wrap-up of what we learned today in a second. But uh, first, I'm going to open up the uh, chit-chat. And uh, there's a lot of new people in the chat. Uh... Free school would be amazing. That's the front page. Uh, I'd go back to school if it was free. Yeah, exactly. You shouldn't have to go into incredible debt for an education. That's crazy. Especially now. Again, I'm going to keep hammering this. That's outrageous to me. You shouldn't earn the average salary's yearly income by 11.30 in the morning. That's offensive. And the people earning that should be embarrassed. And if they're not giving good Christmas parties, and if they're cutting all their Christmas parties and their, and their extra stuff that the workers used to get, shame on you. Treat your workers with respect. If you're earning 193 times what I'm earning, treat me with a little bit of fucking respect. Because chances are I'm the guy on the phone answering the complaint calls. Because your cheap ass cut all the uh, important things out of the company. That's all I'm saying. I am fired up. To, I'm, my birthday. I'm done. I'm done, guys. I've, I'm, I'm done taking shit. Good for you. Good, you're lucky. I'm done taking shit. Uh, <clears throat> Gab, what's up? Good to see you. Joanne is here. Uh, Steve, what's up? Show us your gooey hands. What am I, an animal? I wipe them on my coat when I'm done, bruh. Come on now. 
Uh, I gotta read these after. Okay, so um, we do the show four nights a week right here on the old YouTube. Uh, subscribe if you uh, if you haven't liked this video. It's my birthday today. Just like the video. Do it's like come on guys. It literally costs you nothing. It doesn't cost you 193 times what it should. It literally costs you nothing. Uh, Facebook.com is how we build this show. Each and every day, go to facebook.com slash Darren Jones, sign up there and post stories, post pictures, post opinions, post videos, whatever you want. You guys decide the story. And uh, this is show number two in 2017 and this show is gonna take off like a rocket ship this year. Uh, I, <clears throat> I'm gonna hop in the chat, we'll see you tomorrow night. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, right here on the old YouTube box. I love you guys in a platonic way. Like if we we're at the gym showering, I'd be like, what's up? I wouldn't linger a, I wouldn't keep, I wouldn't linger a look because I respect you too much.